Uh, well, I am the founder of Charlotte Community School for Girls. We are a nonprofit tuition free school for girls from low income families. 100% uh, of our students are eligible for free lunch in the public school system. And we opened in August with 18 fifth grade girls. Um, and I've been moved by what the folks in front of me have said, so I'm going to um, shift what I was going to say just a little bit and share with you a little bit of my, my personal story. Um, everyone has a story. And um, mine started when I was in the seventh grade. My parents um, made a bold move. They quit their jobs. They moved away from Washington, D.C. Um, to a smaller town. And really, they were looking for a, a shift in their lives. And um, I ended up in a school that was a large public school system that was overcrowded. And I was a number. And I was completely lost in that system. <coughs> and it left a little place in my heart knowing that middle school is a hard time for girls and that being lost in a system is, is not a good thing. And I ended up, I had two wonderful parents who didn't have the economic means to get me to a private school, but they looked for one never. And I ended up in a private middle school and high school. Um, I ended up on a full scholarship to that high school. I went to um, Duke undergrad, and I went to law school. And had tremendous opportunities because of that the circumstance of events. Um, I became involved with youth when I was in college, and I was a big sister in the big sister program. Um, I went to law school, and I was a little bit um, in law school. Um, it was dry. It wasn't filling me up. And so um, my husband and I lived in St. Louis um, and I went out to the local YMCA and I said, do you have a swim team? And I had swum in high school and then coached summer swim teams and they said no. And I said, well, would you like one? And they said yes. And so they had it. Um, and I became very involved with the children who were a part of that inner city swim team. It was a small, close-knit community. And I saw, and my husband saw, the difference that a relationship could make in a child's life. Um, I had a child on my swim team, a young girl, who had come from an incredibly abusive background. And yet, in the swimming pool, she shone. Um, and she started doing well academically, and my husband and I did everything we could to share the things with her that she wouldn't otherwise have had. We took her to museums. Um, we took her to art shows. Um, we did all of the things that she otherwise wouldn't have had. And again, I had a little special place in my heart. Um, and when I went to, when I graduated law school, I went to work for the Justice Department. I still found that little place. And so I found an elementary school and I volunteered. Uh, and then life happened. Um, I had kids. Um, my husband is a physician. He works more than full time. Um, I could not practice <coughs> law, raise kids. I have twins. Um, and he couldn't keep the work schedule that he had, so I decided to stay home. Um, but I still had this place, um, and so I did all my volunteering with you. Um, and I knew that someday I would get back to that. Um, but life brings challenges, and um, I was diagnosed with cancer nine years ago. So I got very, very sidetracked from my dream. Um, but I kept telling that dream to everybody I knew. So if I was at the cocktail party, I said, I have a dream. One day I'm going to open this amazing school for low income kids. And I'm going to give them the opportunities that I had. I didn't do anything about it. And in January of 2009, I woke up one morning and I turned over and I said to my husband, I am I'm doing the dream. I am not going to call it a dream anymore. I'm going to make this a reality. And I spent an awful lot of time putting together this conceptual idea, um, but it still wasn't real. And it didn't become real until I stood in front of a group of people like this and I promised just like we heard a promise earlier today, um, that I was going to create this school. And I did that in um, the very end of um, June of 2009, and we opened in August of this year. So 13 months from something as simple as a promise. Um, and sure, there's been complications, and it's not um, easy to raise enough money to um, give 17 girls a free education. Um, but it was not complex. It was as simple as standing in front of a group of people and saying, I believe in this and I'm going to do something about it. Um, so to get from concept to reality, I would say, um, takes really five things. Um, passion, be passionate about what
what you believe in um, and share that passion with other people. Um, it's, it really is as simple as committing to that um, and, and sharing it and telling your story. Um, the second thing I would say is you have to be willing to sacrifice. You have to be willing to work hard. You have to be willing to stay up, stay up late to tell the story. Um, I work for no compensation. Um, I have been doing that since I said that I was going to start this school. Um, and I will continue to do it from now until eternity because that's what I believe in. Um, and so it really is that simple. Um, a commitment to work hard and, and to follow through on it. Um, the third thing is a willingness to be vulnerable. Um, you have to take risks um, to be um, successful and to reach for the stars and to translate something from a dream to a reality. Um, and that may be um, crawling in front of an audience. Um, it may be being incredibly uncomfortable sticking yourself in a place that you're not willing to be, but um, where you have to be in order to get where you're going. Um, the third is the fourth is collaboration. And um, this school became a reality because of collaboration. Collaboration with other adults, um, but also collaboration with children. Um, we asked the girls at this school what they wanted to learn, and one of them said they wanted to learn French. So I met somebody who spoke French, um, and I said, will you come teach a class? And so um, Bobby's going to be joining us to teach a French class. So um, you have to be open to that collaboration and willing to listen. Um, and then the last thing is finding a balance in your life, um, knowing um, when to work and when to play. Um, and really celebrate those moments um, at all times. Thank you.